Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Behind Food. And if you are new to channel, then this channel helps you to understanding things related to food and food technology. So subscribe for more interesting videos of food and technology behind food. Our today's topic is food additives. When you buy some food product, you check the list of the ingredients. You are familiar with some ingredients like wheat flour, spices etc. But some ingredients or additives are not familiar. These are like anti-caking agents, acidity regulator, stabilizer, emulsifiers and many more. So in this video, I am explaining all and their roles in the food products. First one is the anti-caking agent. It is an additive placed in a powder or granular material such as table salt or confectioneries. It is to prevent the formation of lumps or cakes and for easy packaging and transportation and consumption. You will find it and contain anti-caking agent in your regular table salt package. Next one is acidity regulator. These are food additives used to change or maintain pH, acidity or basicity. Acidity regulators are indicated by the E number such as E260 for acetic acid or for a simply listed as food acid. Next is flavoring substances. These are compounds that are added to a food in order to supplement or enhance its own natural flavor. The concept of flavor enhancement originated in Asia where the cook added seaweed to soup stocks in order to provide a richer flavor to a certain food. Now next is stabilizers. A stabilizer is an additive to food which help to preserve its structure. Typical uses include preventing oil water emulsion from separating in products such as salad dressing, ice crystals etc. And emulsifiers that encourage the suspension of one liquid in another as the mixture of oil and water in shortening ice cream etc. Now there is confusion that what are stabilizer and emulsifiers do. While emulsifiers helps to mix together substances which do not easily mix such as oil and water. Stabilizer on the other hand stabilize the desired consistency and stop their substances from separating again after they have been mixed. Next is dough conditioners. It is any ingredient or chemical added to a bread dough to strengthen its texture. It include enzymes, yeast nutrients, mineral salt, oxidant, reductants and emulsifiers. Now other thing that we are find in the list of ingredients of a particular food product is the E number. The E number in the ingredient list of your packaged food replaces the chemical or the common name of a particular food additive. These are used to enhance the color, flavor, texture or to prevent food from spoilage. This is the list of the food additive E numbers. 100 to 199 its food colors, 200 to 299 preservatives and 300 to 399 is antioxidant and so on. These are the examples like Brilliant Blue is E133 and it's between 100 to 199 it's for food colors and Sucralose is between 700 to 999 it's a sweetener. So similarly other E numbers are used that replace the chemical and the common name of a particular food additive. So that's it for today. Please like, subscribe and follow on Instagram at the tech behind food.